It's early in the morning, we have a 24 degrees, nice and hot, and this calls for barbecue. So when I think about barbecue, I think about sausage. And you are going to learn how to make fresh sausage, la salsiccia italiana. To do so, we need to buy pork shoulder and pork belly. I'm gonna show you how to mix that together. We're gonna put in a case, straight on a barbecue, and then we're gonna see what condiment they go with your salsiccia. MC Nonni. Guys, if you see this plate, you can understand that we are in Woodbridge. This is the Italian capital <laughs> of Canada. We just arrived at Woodbridge Market Lane Shopping Center. We are going to see my friend Tony Cataldi at Cataldi Fresh Market. Don't forget the mask. There you are, there we are at Cataldi Fresh Market. And when you just come inside, you can listen to Italian music and you're surrounded by Italian products. You have a chickpeas, salt, tomatoes from Italy, olive oil. So let's go check it out. We need a basket. Thank you. Hey, my friend Tony. Well, How are you I'm doing? I know. Non ne potevo vedere manco che ridimo perché. Come state? Bene, mi piace che Io mi caccia, mi caccia la coppola perché io vi rispetto. I barbieri che te moron di fa. E i barbieri con me non Tanta fanno soldi. Sei mesi stai a posto. <laughs> curbside pickup. Sì, curbside pickup. Beautiful. Sono fatta italiana. Yeah. yeah. Questo prodotto è calabrese di origine. So we are here at uh, the butcher department. We're just waiting for the butcher man, so il mazzellaio. I need some, uh, some meat to make a sausage today. So the beauty of uh, Cataldi is that if you don't know what you need, you just ask to your butcher and he drives and suggests you what you need for your recipe. So I usually do three parts of shoulder and one part of pork belly. So maybe I need three pounds shoulder and one pound of pork belly. Uh, I'm gonna do myself. Okay. There you are. If you wanna make uh, your sausage more tasty and spicy, so you just get some of this uh, pepper sauce, which is kind of paste you mix to your sausage. And uh, of course, you need the salt as well, but this is something that uh, I really suggest. You can see the, where it comes from, so you can read it. Made with love in Calabria. It's very important, right, to understand where the products come from, so that you see that it's authentic. And, uh, and this is GMO free. And of course, Europe is everything that comes from Italy. Europe is uh, GMO free, so you buy this safely at Cataldi. Very cool, channel. One piece of uh, the pork belly. Beautiful. And the best part of the shoulder, the capicollo. Yeah. Good fat to it. Yeah, yeah. Do you have some uh, some fat, some back fat sure. that I probably I can mix to my sausage? It in, absolutely. It's very important to add some fat to your sausage because you don't want them to dry. So it does actually give us some, a little bit of moist. Be Beautiful, it's job. more than enough, but it's good to have an extra, yes. I like it. Scenes and everything, you're okay? I think so, yes, right. I'm good. Now, what I need, please, I need a rabbit. Because Chef Luciano loves rabbit. Well, cut it into pieces? Oh, no, don't worry, I do it. Okay. Of course, I understand that you offer that as a service, so if you don't know how to cut your, your meat, so they will custom cut for you, whatever that you need. So from rabbit, chicken, lamb, that's great. Can I help you with anything else? That's Jonathan? it. Thank you so much. That's you stay yeah. safe. So now what do we do? We go home and we're gonna make salsiccia italiana, sausage, fresh sausage. Let's go, guys. That's the bun for sausage. We're good. Hey guys, okay, so we just got home. We were at the Cataldi Fresh Market this morning to get what? 
fresh buns because we are making fresh sausage. La salsicha fresca is time for barbecue and I want to show you a great recipe to make fresh sausage. A Sicilian variation, a mix of pecorino cheese and fennel seeds. Okay, let's see what we have in the package. We have uh, pork belly. So I always mix some pork belly because it's more tender. Uh, the meat is very tender and has some good fat that need moisture uh, for our sausage. So a nice piece of pork belly. And let's check what we have here. I have pork shoulder. Why shoulder and not leg? Well, because the leg is more dry, more tough. Instead, shoulder is more juicy, more tender. It's all the muscles, they're moving there. So that's why I always suggest to have a shoulder. What the proportion, what the balance is, three parts of shoulder and one part of pork belly. And I have here some back fat. So what is this and why? because we need to add some fat. Fat, it will just make your sausage taste better because it gives more juice, more moist to what we are going to make. Don't forget to ask your butcher some salted on casing. So the casing that you need for your fresh sausage, they are kept under salt and we're gonna just put in a cold water to uh, desalt it, okay? I'm using here our cabelas. This is actually one of the strongest and best machine you can find on the market and I really recommend it. But if you don't wanna spend a fortune, don't worry. So you can just find some more affordable for your pocket, but I really suggest you to have one because it's beautiful to have a piece of fresh meat that you can grind yourself. You can see how the, all these muscles and this, uh, this meat has different grains here, just because the shoulder has a lot of muscles. We need to add some extra fat because if not, the sausage would be too lean. How much fat? Well, this is some extra fat that I ask to my butcher, but I think that you can go with a 10%, 10, 15% uh, fat just to balance uh, the flavors. Let's feed this. You don't need to grind this uh, two times because you want actually to have a chunky piece of meat and you don't want to have that too fine because, you know, don't, don't ever trust about a very fine sausage because if the meat is too fine, that means they may be using all the very quality ingredients. I have to tell you the truth. I like to have a, the larger attachment to the machine to have a, a chunky, rustic, hearty uh, salami. It's time now to season our meat. So what we need for that is salt, pecorino, fennel seeds. In some part of Sicily, they actually add the garlic or onion because they, that recipes are very attached to the locals and that depends what province you go in Sicily. And actually, I wanted to uh, engage and uh, remem remember you that I do culinary tours in Calabria and in Sicily, so you probably can join me in one of these tours one day. How much fennel I added? Two tablespoons fennel, one cup of pecorino cheese, and how much salt? I would say that we need each kilo meat, 20 grams salt. So here we have a four pounds. We need two kilos meat. I'm gonna say that probably three tablespoons would be good. If you want, which I want, I'm gonna add just half glass of white wine. So that would be good. It is time to mix the ingredients together. So I use my fingers, if you see, because I'm squeezing, stretching, mixing. Sometimes you can push it down with your, your, you can like punch your meat and mix together. You fold it, fold it, fold it. It's taking like five to 10 minutes. 
this process. So one of the things that my grandmother has always done at the end of this process, is gonna create like a loaf of bread. Okay, putting that together like a little mountain. Now, the meat needs to stay there for 10, 15 minutes. The salt is gonna salt the meat. And uh, in the meantime, what do we need? We need to get ready our casings. What do we do with the casing? We have to wash this in a cold water. So that's our casing. So you see it's a long, a long thing. So that's usually, we're gonna make a two of this. So we suck in cold water, keep here for five minutes and we get ready the machine to fill them up. There you are. This is a pretty safe operation because uh, the casings are sanitized and they are sterilized. So don't worry, it's everything an easy and safe process. What are you doing? So everything is being washed and sanitized and salted. So salt is actually one of the first methods of preserving everything. So back in the days, there were not refrigeration, but there was just salting. So that is a very, very old method of preserving. Then, you know, they invented the fire, so the cooking, the smoking, that all are different process of preserving. And we are going to talk probably in other videos about this preserving food. So that another huge thing that we should be focused on. So this is a nice and seasoned now. He was resting for five to 10 minutes. I smell the pecorino, the wine. I actually have that smell. And the fennel, that would be very, very, you have to make this recipe. I don't want to tell you anything. So before starting the machine, we need to put our casing. So you get the, the beginning of the casing and you expand it, okay? And you put it in at the, here at the beginning. Now, because he's anyways, it's kind of sleeper, you need one of these clothings to push it down. It just going through. So what do we do here? We're gonna do a knock to stop the meat. There you go. Let's start. Okay, so if you notice, we have some air accumulation bubbling here, so you need a needle. You just do some hole. See, all the air is going out. You see the meat is coming. What do you do just at the beginning? You, you're gonna press to give the shape to the sausage. And don't worry, he just is going to feed himself. So you don't have really to do anything. If you see there is some air, again, with the needle, you are going to do some hole, okay? That's it. Very good. Let's go with the next. You have to center and uh, see with the one hand, you're gonna hold it. We're done with this, now we have to shape. We're gonna punch it again with, take some air off. Okay. Then you decide the size that you want for your salami. It's gonna be like uh, nine inches long and you're gonna twist it. One, then twist it here so you give a size. Okay, you press it down, okay, and you twist it again. See, we get the sausage. All right. 
right, so welcome in my backyard. This is actually the first video on the on this beautiful uh, backyard with the beautiful day. The barbecue is ready, nice and hot. I just turned it out in a medium heat because you don't need a lot of heat because the heat has to go inside the sausage. So get our salsiccia, our sausage, and let's put it here on the barbecue. What I suggest, just cover the barbecue for at least two, three minutes because you want to sear the sausage and it takes a lot, maybe six, seven minutes, up to 10 minutes to cook the whole sausage. Think that it don't turn, don't flip your sausage for the first three minutes, okay? Then you're gonna flip it over, we're gonna cut it individually. After that, I have here la muffoletta. What is the muffoletta? It's a mix of olives, carrots, celery, and onion. There is flavors like parsley, oregano. If you see, it's nice, rich, oily, and because it's pickled, the vinegar is enough to cleanse your mouth for any extra flavor or fatty, you know, there is a grease because the sausage is made with also some fat but uh, that helps to balance out the flavor. How you call this? Filoncino. We have two filoncinos. What are we gonna do? Check it out, the sausage. See, we are marked them. We are ready to cut them individually. And turn the sausage. Let's cut our bands. We open and we cut them in a half. What are we gonna do as a next step? We are gonna just toast it, okay? The bread inside the barbecue. What I remember my grandma, when we had the fireplace actually, he got the bread and usually suck the bread with that juice. This is actually going to flavor our panini. Okay. Let's toss our buns. Watch out that it's very hot, so you don't want to burn yourself. Because it's very hot, you don't want to burn them. You know, if you see they're nice and crispy from outside, you can put it at the top, at the top here. So press it down a little bit to toast it. But as I said, you don't want to burn. So you want to just to crisp them out from outside. And it is nice and crunchy from outside and soft in the middle. And with the muffolette and the sausage, you're just gonna be so excited and happy for it. Okay, same problem. So, it took like three, six, nine minutes. I told you, no more than 10 minutes. Anyways, if the sausage is coming from the refrigerator, it probably takes longer because, you know, the lower the temperature, the longer it takes because you have to reach in the middle 63 degrees to get safe. So get our bread warm and crunchy. Open up your pan here. So get the muffoletta here. And you see there is some oil that is gonna soak the bread. Look, how juicy and not dry is this sausage. Put this up here. The pork shoulder and pork belly this morning mixed with pecorino and fennel seeds. You close it. And then, what I not, we cut it in a half. There you are. Sicilian sausage made from scratch. So if you like the video, put a like, subscribe, leave a comment, let us know what you think. If you made it, please share the recipe. Let me know how it was it. Ciao a tutti and buon appetito.